the attendant, we built this system primarily to try and give every manufacturer an ability to be a first class citizen on the pad, right? Give our pool pros, our customers, an ability to mix and match, pick, you know, your best of breed or best value, whatever is actually relevant to you uh, in terms of the equipment that you want. Uh, the attendant is, is, the, is the result of all that work. It's a system and here we can, we can open it to show uh, what the insides look like. It's basically a control system, similar for replacement for Hayward. Correct, Andy, right. So think, think, think of all of the OmniLogics and the IntelliCenters, centers, right? Like that, that, that is, that is what this will replace. And you, you have the ability to control every single type of equipment that can exist on the pad, right? So anything from, you know, legacy things that you simply control with relays. So think like old lights, you know, single stage pumps, uh, all, all, everything like that to newer equipment that would be completely digitally controlled. So we have four buses uh, that you can use for variable speed pumps, salt cells, okay. uh, DMX lights. So as you can see over here, we just recently added an ability to synchronize lights to Spotify, right? So you can actually oh, have- plays with the music. Yeah, you're, you're, you can get the, the pad thumping to, uh, to the beat of your favorite song. All of that is contained in this, right? So you can do up to five valves. Uh, for valve control, um, we will... let me stop you. Your valve control. I hear rumors that you can set valves the the ones that aren't programmable. They can become magically intelligent. Here, come back, come back with me. Let's it's... let's take a look. So this is this is a vanilla intermatic valve, right? There's nothing particularly interesting about this valve. Okay. And so what we're going to do in the app over here, right? So we have our pretend waterfall and laminar uh, fountain. So this valve controls the uh, the water flow to both of these water features. Okay. Okay. And right now, notice it's parked in the middle, right? Both of these are on. So let me turn off the waterfall. And now we're just going to keep just the laminar. So you'll watch the valve go all the way to the right. Okay. And we'll get to the to the end we'll stop All right so now the laminar fountain is on okay let's uh, go ahead and turn that off and we'll turn on the waterfall you will actually see these these wells will have to move first but you will see this thing swing all the way back to the other side right so this will in many cases save you from installing an extra pump Right, because right, you're 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 now able to have one pump and still independently control all these water and, and have more than one setting on the valve. Correct. Right. So you can you can say I want it seventy five percent left. Right. Then there's no camming. There's nothing. So you could tweak this to where it's absolutely perfect. I want to run it twenty five hundred RPMs, and to get the proper flow to this, I need valve two to turn thirty percent. Right. Right. So. And, and a lot of times you don't even need to specify that, right? So the system will automatically calculate what it needs to be setting the valve positions to. This is the other thing that kind of makes us unique. So let's, let me just show you, let's wait for the valves to, to finish moving. Um, with legacy automation systems, the way that they get programmed is kind of a, if this, then that tree, right? So if I press this button, turn on this relay, you know, activate this pump, right? Do it, it's very, complex sometimes, especially if you have a lot of equipment. Um, now, so let me go into into the installer mode. If you use our system, we basically know all the paths that the water can flow, right? So this is really the difference between how you configure us and how you configure most of our competitors, right? So now now this valve is, is actually finally done moving. Um, and so we are in waterfall mode. You can see we, we don't have any, any not, nothing is uh, staged here. It's a real full, full, full motion valve control. This can be done on a smartphone or it can be done on an iPad or? Yeah, or locally on the, on the unit directly. On the unit, yeah. okay. Think of how we configured this. So this is, this is actually the setup that we're looking at. So the way that you program this unit right is you you basically built out the actual layout of the pad right so here we said here we have the suction side from pool or spa right through an actuator then to a pump then to a water uh, water temperature sensor 
to a filter to a heater and then we start the return path where you can either go through a blower and jets into a spa right or directly to the pool uh, or we can make the path through this actuator to the waterfall or laminar fountain okay what this allows us to do is figure out all the various paths that the water can take right and then there's no programming right so we know what you can run at the same time and what you can't run at the same time we know what positions all the valves are supposed to be in to turn on it does the calculations does it is it does it calculate like pump speed yes gallons per minute so so, so this so, so this is what we need correct so what's what's also really nice the control system itself so imagine you have like a spa right, right? and you have let's say like you want really strong jet flow you've got three pumps controlling that spa in our world you would just have one control called jets Right, I'm going to turn off the waterfall and the and as I control the jets it will know that it needs to be spooling up all three pumps right or it might so I'm just moving the percentages here right but 70% might mean three pumps at 70% or if one pump is away doing something else like running my Water fountains right. my waterfalls then it will spool up the remaining two pumps to a hundred percent for example Right, so all of that is automatic, right? You don't need to think about all the equipment and various things that it can do. It figures it out. Yeah, it figures it out. So programming is just tell it what you have and it does it. Yeah. And, and this will talk to anybody's variable speeds. It will talk to anybody's lights. Anybody's lights, uh, anybody's salt. Any, anybody's, anybody's heat heaters. pump. Yes, and, and so when it comes to heaters and heat pumps, obviously we will support the legacy, you know, 24 volt on off, right? But we will also support all the modern heat pumps and, and heaters that have digital controls. So you will actually see detailed error messages, status reporting. So instead of just knowing that it's not heating, you'll see, you know, low gas pressure or you'll see igniter. It will actually give you the error codes from the equipment. That's that's incredible. So this this is true automation. What, what we call automation in the pool industry is not really automation. It's just actuation. It's so it's it's, it's kind of like a we like to think, switches. We like we like to think of it as like a fairly fancy internet connected timer. Yes. Right. But even when it comes to timing, so let me show you. Um, so for us, the ideas around timing are a little bit different. So if I'm scheduling my heat over here, so let's say on Thursday I want to go swimming from three to seven. So simple. I'm not actually telling the system to turn on the heater at three o'clock. I'm telling the system to be ready at 887 by three o'clock. And it will calculate the and heat so, rise. And so what, yes, correct. So basically over time, we measure the rise performance and capability of all of your equipment. So you might even have multiple heaters, you know, say a gas heater and a heat pump. So we, or solar. And so we will measure all of that. And then when it's time to get ready for my swim uh, session here at three o'clock, now I can say, okay, we know the weather, we know the wind speeds, we know the UV angles. We know it's pulling that off the, off the internet. Correct, right, so that, that comes off the internet. And now, maybe I don't even need to turn on the heat because I'll get to 87 just organically. On its own. Uh, or maybe I will get to only 84 and I have these three degrees to catch up. And so the system will figure out what is the latest possible moment to actually turn on the heating. So you're not running, turning on two hours early. Exactly. And yes. wasting that much gas. That's, um, that's, that's a pretty massive savings for most owners yes. to do this, yes. to do this regularly. The system, it will work with uh, like home nest. Because I know a lot of the systems have issues with NAS systems. So it will work with Google Assistant. We have we, we okay. will integrate directly with Google Assistant. We will also integrate with Alexa. So Amazon is fully. You say Alexa, turn on the pool light, or Alexa, turn spa heat to 90. And we don't have communication issues with Wi-Fi. We work really hard on making your <laughs> making your Wi-Fi well, better. And that, that that that's kind of a loaded question because most of the time it's 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 the Wi-Fi. It's not. The system so uh, for for our pool uh, pool installer friends so you can actually see the historical Wi-Fi signal strength on every single unit wow. right so if your customer is unhappy you can have a conversation around maybe putting in a repeater yeah right uh, we obviously support hardwiring as well right. so that's that's something that you can do 
Um, but, uh, you know, overall, the system attempts to really maximize the value for both the installers and the professionals as well as the homeowners. Hooking it up. It's just like hooking up anybody else's. Just, uh... Very, very similar. In fact, for retrofits, it's, it's even easier. So if you're swapping out a legacy automation system with this one, uh, we, we give you a kit that allows you to keep all of your existing relays and all the high voltage stuff connected to the existing load center in your legacy automation system. And then you just move over and uh, switch uh, just the data wires, basically, and the sensors to... You probably know, price-wise, we, we, you, with everybody. You will find us very competitive with everybody else. Okay. Yeah. In many cases, cheaper. Okay. Well, what have we not talked about? You talk to everybody's equipment. You talk to anybody's equipment. We do. We also do chemical dispensing, so that's... That's, and that's, that's built in. It's not. It's not an add-on. Um, it's a. It, it is an add-on. It's, it's. It's an option rather that you can choose to purchase or not purchase. Okay. But it is built into into the unit. So you walk with me. But you don't have to upgrade the board to be able to. So you can add our. Sorry, guys. So this chemical sensor board right here, right. This is this is what enables you to then add uh, pH and ORP probes. So you can see over here we've got this little. Flow Sol set up. You can use anybody's sensors that you like, right? We're not going to tie you to you a specific care. brand. Yeah, I mean, you can use Sensor X. You know, I think these are Pantera probes. Um, you know, lots of lots of other cheap alternatives on Amazon that you can use. And then this enables several different things. You can use this to drive your salt cells. We'll uh -huh. use ORP to to control your sanita uh, sanitation. Um, you can use this to dispense pH. Uh, so control pH, you can dispense acid, uh, you can dispense liquid chlorine, right? So it's it's very flexible in that. We're actually working right now on finalizing our NSF certification, so this will probably be the first consumer-grade panel that uh, is NSF certified and it will be good enough to go into any commercial site. Which is awesome considering the sense and dispense. Technology. Well, uh, we've seen we've seen our competitors give uh, give users acid baths, uh, and so we uh, <laughs> yes. we, 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 we we don't want uh, that kind of negativity. Right. And uh, the lights, it, it's it's already got built in where to dance to music and all that. Yeah, yeah. So we we just recently deployed this update, so you can now uh, do Spotify integration directly with this unit, and you can uh, well, I don't know if you can. That's cool. That's cool. All right, so what can you not do? <laughs> so, uh, so currently, does not wax your car. We are does not on, wax car. We are working okay. on that. Yeah. So right, that, that's not look for a software right. update in the near future. <laughs> we'll mow the yard. We'll love it. I love everything about it. Um, I'm going to have to get some of these in. I can experience the greatness that is the attendant. We appreciate you. Uh, oh, where's it available? Do I get it through distribution? So you can get it through uh, some heritage sites and uh, we sell to you. So heritage. Heritage is carrying it and Full Corp does not. Full Corp does not yet. Okay. All right. I appreciate you, bud. Thank you, Frank.